Hello, students. Welcome back, and thanks for tuning in to the Sweet Sounds of Reading TV. Now, I'm Tutor Vanessa, and my job is to make sure that you're able to break down the sounds inside of any word so that you can read anything. Now, before we get started with today's class, where we're going to learn one final H partner, Let's talk about what a partner is again. Now, what's a partner with regard to letters? Well, a partner sound, I should say, is when two different letters, they get together, right? Two different letters, they get together, and they form one brand new sound. So we call this technique, marry the partners, right? It's just like getting married, two different people get together, and they form a new, new family. When two, when two different letters get together, they form a new sound. All right. So you ready to learn the, the last um, H partner sound? Great, because here we go. Da, 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 da. Friends, family, students, we are gathered here today to join in holy sound matrimony. This breath air sound to this breath air sound. Now, by the power invested in me as a letter sounds preacher, I now pronounce them a brand new sound. You try it. And notice it's two air sounds. So this particular partner sound doesn't make a sound. It just makes air. And you, you kind of use your cheeks to make this sound. Try it again. Good job. All right. So let's just kind of go over, recap this partnership, this pairing, okay? So so you use your cheeks to blow quiet wind into your hand and listen to the very first sound you hear in this word. Whisper. Whisper. You try it. Whisper. And the sound movement for the WH partner is just just puffing up your cheeks and blowing into your hand. And so for parents, any parents or reader teachers in the room, whenever your child comes across a word that has the WH partner and maybe they forget, instead of telling them the answer, giving them the word, just do the movement, show them a clue. And then your child will say, you as a student, you'll say, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the H partner. That's the win partner. All right. So let's um, again, let's repeat this sound three times. I'll go first, and then you go. You do it. And what's the sound movement? What's the clue? Blowing into your hand. Good job. Just like the, the lady here on the screen. Good job. All right. Moving right along. We're going to recap. Let's go over what we just learned. When the letter W joins the letter H, we marry the letters, and we form a new partner. And the new partnership, or the new partner sound is... So I want you to listen closely for the WH partner sound as you practice sounding out and reading these words. When you say it. When. And what's the um, symbol or the clue to let you know that there's a partner sound in a word? A heart, right? A heart. So you notice the, the heart under the, the WH partner? When. What does when mean? Or can you use when? Excuse me, I'm falling apart here. I'm having a, a wardrobe malfunction. Can you use when in a sentence? I've got one. When we get to the very last class, you're going to be able to read anything when. All right. Next word. I'll say it first, and then you repeat after me. Whip. You say it. Whip. Whip. Now, can you use whip in a sentence? What's a whip? It's, um, I don't want to say a, a tool, or uh, it, it's something that, it's a stick that has a string tied onto the end, and you whip, whip, right? You, you kind of whip, you flick your wrist, your wrist, and you whip somebody. I also think there was a, a dance called um, the whip, but who knows? Anyway, whip. All right, the very last word is whiz. You try it. Whiz. Now what's a whiz? Do you know what whiz means? Well, I'll tell you. It can mean a very smart a very smart student. If a student's very smart, some someone will say something like this. That girl is really smart in math. 
She's a whiz kid. Whiz. Good job. All right. Moving right along. So now we're going to do our eye tracking exercise. This is a part of your homework activity, but we're going to do it together in class as a practice. And, and to do this exercise, you know, you're just moving your eyes only, not your head. And you're tracking the, the, part, the sounds and the words from in the reading directions from left to right. Okay, so let, we're going to start right here and we're going to end here. Are you ready? One, two, three. Go. When. Whiz. Whip. Which. Good job. Good job. Okay, so I'm going to take away the lines and we're going to try it again. All right. And so make sure that you're, you're tracking with only your eyes. You know, your eyes are doing this, not moving your head. Okay, so we're going to see if you can, if you can um, read with me. And not lose your place. All right. So again, we're reading. We're we're, we're reading or, or sounding out in the reading direction from left to right. Are you ready? Go. When. Whiz. Whip. Which. Good job. All righty then. Again, if that was a little bit too fast for you when you get your homework packet, just slow it down. When you do this page and you practice, slow it down and sound out and read at your own pace. Okay. Moving right along. This is also a homework activity. This is your handwriting. This is your writing or your printing activity where you're going to use this page and you as a tracing page and you're going to trace the um the WH partner, the partner and then you're going to write the word write and trace the words that feature or has the um, WH partner good job moving right along and that that first part is for all three levels but this part of the writing activity is for my levels two and three you're going to repeat the same thing but only this time you're going to write in cursive so you're going to write the um you're going to trace and write the WH partner um, partner Sounds and then you're going to write the three words that feature the WH partner. Good job. Here we go again. This is another part of your homework activity where you're going to see the WH partner in your mind's eye. So you're going to look at the word, you're going to sound it out, and then you're going to listen for how many sounds you hear. Now remember, a, a partner, even though it's two letters, you see two letters with your eyes. It makes just one sound. For example, the word here is when. When are we going to finish today's class? When. And in the word when, you see four letters here on the screen, right? You see four letters in this word. But listen to the word when. Close your eyes. When. How many sounds do you hear? Keep them closed. When. I hear three sounds. Well, this is the, the air sound. When you hear the eh and the n, open your eyes, okay? So you hear three sounds, but you see four words. Now, for my level one students, when you do this exercise at home, you're just going to sound out the word and you're going to count how many sounds you hear. My levels two and my levels three students, you're going to add an extra level. You're going to go a step further. You're going to not just write how many sounds you hear, you're going to write the sound types or the categories, right? So for the um, word when, the very first sound you hear is a, the partner sound, WH, right? And then you hear the slide sound, eh, and then you hear the slide sound, mm. So you're going to write what the sound types and how many sounds that you hear. Alrighty then. Moving right along. This is also a homework activity where you're going to sandwich the vowel, right? You're going to sandwich the vowel between the two sounds. You're going to find the vowel, you're going to circle it and make a word sandwich. And if there's any extra sounds, you're going to underline that extra sound and add it to the sandwich after you sound out the sandwich, right? So the very first step you're going to do for this homework activity is you're going to underline the partner sound. As we did here, the partner sound in this case is WH. And the second step, you're going to circle the vowel. Remember the five vowels are what? 
A E I O U. So you're going to look for an A E I O U or U in the word, and you're going to circle the vowel. So the vowel in this word is the letter I. And then you're going to sandwich the vowel between the sound on the right and the sound on the left. And remember, if it's a partner sound, it counts as one sound. So you're going to sandwich the 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 e between the wh sound and the s sound. And then you're going to sound out the word sandwich. So this first sandwich is a whis. And then like, uh oh, there's an extra sound, whis. So we're going to add the 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 letter k or the bounce sound k to the sandwich whis. So it's whisk. Whisk, and and when you make the sandwich, sound it out three times. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Good job. All right. Now what's a whisk? Now I, I I found a little picture for you here. This is a whisk. It's a cooking utensil, and you may have seen your mom or dad or someone in the kitchen, uh, like beating an egg or something with a whisk, like whipping it up really really good. Whisk. Good job. All right. So, again, that's going to be in your homework pack, and there's going to be a whole sheet of um, words where you're going to sandwich the vowel. And always remember to use the words in a sentence, okay? Okay. So now we're going to um, do an activity where we're going to find, we're going to sound out a word or words that um, feature the WH partner that also has a clown sound. So let's talk about what a clown sound is once again. A clown sound is a letter. That's clowning around. And by clowning around, I mean it's a letter that's goofing off, that's acting silly, that's not saying it's a root sound, it's real sound, okay? And I'll always give you a little clue in our in our homework practices or when we work together, and we'll I'll put a clown hat over the letter that's clowning around. And the clown hat is a it looks like a triangle, all right? And that triangle, because it looks like a clown hat, right? So that's your clue while we're working in class, that the letter under this this hat is clowning around. All right. So with that being said, this is going to be uh, in your homework activity, is a homework activity, I should say, as well, but we'll do it in class today. So what are you going to do? You're going to use the sound out clues that I provided in the first box here to sound out the word in the second box. All right. So Remember the um the sound movement for the WH partner is this. And in this particular word, I'm telling you that the letter A, what sound does the letter A make? Or should it make? What's the, what's its root sound? Eh, right? Eh. But in this particular word, the letter A is clowning around, pretending it's goofing off like it's the letter uh. It's like I'm pretending it's like ha. Ah. It's making the U sound uh. All right. So again, using the sound out clues that I provided, let's sound out this word. What? You say it. What? What is what? What does what mean? It's a question. If you want, if you want to know about something, you might say what. What are you trying to say? What are you doing? What? Good job. All right. Let's go to the second one. So using the sound out clues that I provided in this first um, word box, we're going to sound out this word. So the first clue, and I'm telling you that the first sound is, a, is a, the, the air sound, the breath air partner. And then I'm telling you that the letter O is clowning around, and it's making the OO sound. Now we have it, my levels um, one students, we haven't learned the partner sound OO yet. Like, like it's kind of sound like an owl. OO, OO. Ooh, but and we're going to learn that in a future class. But just for now, just know this, that the letter O is clowning around saying, ooh. All right. So using the sound out clues that I provided here in this box, what's the word? Who? Who? And who is another question, right? It's it, when you want to know um, about a person, what a person did or where they are or something about a person, you might say, who is that? Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Who? It's a question, right? All right. All right. Let's go to the to the final um, word. Using the um, clues that I've left you in the sound out clues box, we're going to sound out this word. All right. So the very first clue, you know that the, the first sound is a is a is a H partner air sound. And the very second um, clue, I'm letting you know that the letter Y is clowning around, making the long 
saying I, the long I sound. Now, who remembers the rule for the letter I? We learned this a long, 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 long time ago. I think it was in the, the clown sounds um, class. Whenever the letter Y is at the end of a word, remember this? Remember this? And there's no other vowel. There's no A, E, I, O, or U in the vowel. The letter Y always clowns around and says I. And remember the letter Y is a cousin vowel, right? So, uh, do you remember the chant? Who remembers the chant? A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. That's right. So Y, um, it's a cousin vowel. So if there's no, so remember, the rule is if the letter Y is at the end of a word and, there, it ha and no other vowels, can be no other vowels in the word, it always says, makes the I sound. So enough of that. So um, using the two clues that I've left you here, let's sound out this word. Y. Why? Here's another question. Why do letter sounds have all these rules? Because they're secret codes, the secret codes that you're learning. Why? Good job. Okay. Moving right along. Now it's time for the um to to hear the beat. Feel the beat and hear the beat of a word. It's time to dance it out. The letter sounds dance. Alright, so let's go over some of the steps and and let's go over how do you do this homework when you're how do you do this page when you're at home doing your homework. Blech, I need to speak, right? So the very first step you're gonna do is you're gonna sound out the word. The second step you're gonna write the dance steps or the moves in the letter sound box. Alright, and then you're gonna dance it out. You're gonna you're gonna dance out the word. You're gonna fill the beat. All right. Okay, so let's talk about the moves, you know, the dance steps. The very first move, let's see if I can center this a little bit better. A little bit. So if you hear a slide sound, what's the move? You gotta slide and you're gonna write the letter S in the box. That's your the, the, the dance step S in the box, right? If when you sound on a word you hear a bounce sound, bounce, that's the move, right? You're gonna bounce and you're gonna write a letter B in the box. Now, if when you're signing out the word, you hear the partner sound, the, the, the H partner sound, WH, you're going to cross your heart, right? You're going to cross your heart. Like, and for that's the partner sound. And then, or the partner move, right? And then, if you see and you hear a twin sound, you're going to throw up a peace sign or two, two fingers, right? Good job. All right, then. Oh, and one more thing. If one of the sounds is clowning around, you're gonna do the move at the same time. You're gonna put a, you're gonna, you're gonna put your hand over your head to make the, to, to make the clown move, right? This is the clown move. All right. Da 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 da. So let's see what we got here. All right then. So, the very first word has two partner sounds in it. Two partner sounds. Two H partner sounds. At that. So the very so we're gonna sound this out. Listen, which you say it, which. Now this is a different which. Now you remember back in the ch partner um class we talked about a witch. You know, like the, the lady with the black hat that you see her on Halloween night and she. <laughs> but that witch was spelled different. If you recall, it was spelled W I T C H. But look at this witch. This is a different witch. This is the question witch, right? It's a spelled totally different. Like which which way did he go? Which way did he go? Witch. All right. But anyway, enough of that. Let's um let's I I put the dance steps in the box. I've already written them down for you here. So the very first sound you're hearing, which is the partner sound W H. So I put the P in the box. The second sound you hear is the slide sound, eh, right? So I put the slide sound in the box. And the last sound you hear is ch, the CH partner sound, which is a partner. So to dance this um, word out, to feel the beat of this word and dance it out, which is going to be partner, slide, partner, all right? Let's do it together. Let's do it together the first time. If, if you feel up to it, you think you can, you got it, and then we'll do it again one more time together, all right? So it's... The steps are partner, slide, partner. One, two, three, go. Partner, slide, partner. All right, did you get that? Let's do it again. Partner, slide, partner. Go. Partner, slide, partner. Good job. All right. This very next word 
whiff. You say it. Whiff. What's a whiff? If you if you get a if you if you smell something all of a sudden you're like I got a whiff of chocolate chip cookies and bacon in the oven. Mmm. -hmm. Whiff. All right. So look at the word whiff and listen to the sounds. In the word whiff, the very first sound you hear is the partner sound. Good job. So I put a letter P in the box. The whiff. The second sound you hear is the slide sound. So I put a slide. S in the box, I'm sorry. And the last sound you hear, listen, whiff, and you see it here, it's a twin sound, right? Because what's a twin sound again? It's when two identical letters, in this case it's FF, make one sound. Or two same sound letters, like CK, they make one sound. So they're different from a partner sound, because a partner sound is two different letters making one brand new sound. But a twin sound is two of the same letter or two of the same sound making just its its regular sound. All right. So whiff. So in, in the word whiff, the, the, listen to the beat. Whiff, whiff. You hear a partner slide twin. All right. Ready? Let's dance it out. One, two, three, go. Partner slide twin. Let's do it again. So it's partner slide twin. Ready? Go. Partner. Slide. Twin. Good job. Good job. All right. The very last word has a, it's got like a little two step, a two, two movement step here, right? And the word is what? 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 All right. And the word what? You see and you hear the partner sound WH, so we put a P. That's the first move we're going to make. But the second letter, see, let's see if I can hide if it'll let me highlight it. That second letter, the letter A, that should say, eh, it's clowning around. It's goofing off. It's playing around, right? It's saying, oh, oh. So the letter A is pretending, it's clowning. It's, it's making the letter U sound, uh. So I put a slide sound with a clown hat over it, right? And then, t, what? The letter T is a bounce sound. So the steps for the word what, listen to the beat, feel the beat of the word what is, it's partner, slide clown, bounce. So it's partner, slide clown, bounce. Or is it clown slide, right? So watch me first, or if you think you got it, do it with me because we're going to do it twice. What? So it would be partner, slide clown, bounce. All right? Let's do it again. So it's partner, slide clown, bounce. Ready? Partner, slide clown, bounce. Good job. So again, when you do your homework activity, you're going to have a whole sheet of words where you're going to sound out the words, listen for the beat, write the dance steps, and dance it out. All right. Moving right along. This is also part of your homework activity where you're going to play the memory game. You're going to ask a parent or a reader teacher to make two copies of this page on thick paper or card stock paper, and you're going to cut up, cut them up, cut up, cut them up, cut it up, cut them out. And you're going to make flashcards, okay? And you're going to play the memory game, or you can play Go Fish, or you can just use them as flashcards, all right? So remember, when you're learning new stuff, it, it doesn't have to be serious. It can be fun. You can have fun while you learn. All right. Da, 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 da. All right. So this is this is kind of a short class, just like the last one, the pH class, right? So now we're going to you're going to kind of show what you know. So you're going to sound out the this is a homework activity where you're going to sound out these words that have the partner sound, the WH partner sound. And remember, each and every time you sound out the words, you're going to use the word in a sentence, okay? Cuz we don't want you just to be a uh, robot reader, we want you to know and understand, comprehend, that means understand what you read. So you're going you're gonna to sound these words out. If there's something that you don't know, you're going to ask mom or dad or your reader teacher for the definition, right? And once they give you the definition, that means to tell you what the word means, then you're going to make up a sentence, okay? Alrighty then. Good job. So this is a homework activity, and all of these words feature the WH partner. Now, for my level one students, you're able to read all of these words except this one. And this word is were, were, like were, 
were you at the party last night? Were you the one that stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Word. So this is a level two and level three word. Just to give you a heads up, but they all the and we're gonna learn this this partner sound here, this er partner sound here in a future class. But anyway, so these this is the question page: who, what, when, where, and why. So on this page, what you're gonna do is this is for my levels two and my levels three students. Actually, you're gonna write a short sentence using one of the question words. Okay, above. Okay then. Moving right along. This is also a homework activity for my level three students and some of my more advanced level one students. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna look at the picture and you're gonna fill in you're gonna fill in the blanks. Okay. Now for my level one students, you could still participate in this page, but just don't worry about writing. Just name the picture. And all six of these pictures start with the partner sound. Okay? Good job. And if you're not sure what a picture is, again, ask mom or dad or read or teacher to help you out. All right. So now this is another homework activity where you're going to draw a picture of six things. Six things in the picture boxes that start with the partner sound, the WH partner sound. All right. Oopsie daisy. What did I just do there? There. Technical difficulties. All right. This is another um, activity for my level two and my level three students where you're going to write the missing WH letters in front of each word and then you're going to sound out the word. And then the next layer, the next step for this activity, you're going to find the word um, in this um, puzzle, right? In this word search puzzle. Again, this is for my levels two and my levels three students. This is a, okay. Da, 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 da. All right, we're kind of wrapping up today's class. This is another um, homework activity, again, for my level two and my level three students. However, this is my level one students, I want you to try to sound out these words. And everyone that you know that we've learned so far, any the letter sound codes that we've learned so far, just circle the ones that you know, okay? All right, but otherwise, this is for my levels two and my levels three um, students. This is a homework packet. Da, 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 da. And then you're gonna just read the sentences that feature the W, um, the, the WH partner sounds. Okay. All right, so we're just moving right along. This is another homework activity. Again, this is for my levels two and three students. However, my level one students, there are many, many words that you can read yourself by yourself. And so what I want you to do is circle the words. All right. So let's go over some of the words that you and I, we've learned in our, on all of our classes so far. So you can read this word. What? All right. So all the words with the star are level one words. Okay. What? When? And I'm sorry, just kind of repeat after me. Why? Which? Whack. What's whack mean? Like if you hit somebody on the head, you'll whack them over the head, which you're not going to do, right? Whip. Whisk. Whisk. Wop. And that's another um kind of violent word for you hitting somebody you wop. Which again you're not gonna be doing, right? Right. Whiff. Whim. Good job. So again, this is this is a levels two and three homework activity, but I just wanted my level one students to know that there are several words on this page that you can sound out and read all by yourself. All the other ones. We're going to learn in, um, in, in, a, in classes coming up. All right. Da, 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 da. And here we are. We're at the letter sound codes countdown. So we have learned with this class today, the WH partner sounds a day, we have learned a total of 30 
one letter sound codes so far. And we only have 72 to go. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's not because we are just moving along. We're just doing things, right? We're learning big things. So let's look at the letter sounds clock. Look where we started. We started way up here. And we are we're right here. And look how far we have to go. We got it. We got to we're going to learn all of these other sounds until we get here. But again, we're just moving right along, aren't we? Good job, good job. Good job, good job, good job. All right. So all right. So now we're at the what at the um at the part of our class where I'm asking you to, to like, comment, and share this class with everybody that you know. Okay? All right. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. And let's wrap up today's class. All right. So, as we wrap up today's class, I just want you to know this. Before you go, remember these quick things. That practice makes perfect, right? So I want you to practice, practice, practice everything that you learned in this WH partner sounds. Or I should say these WH letter sound codes, the sound. And then know this, for children who know the letter sound codes, and who is that? That's right, that's you. There's no such thing as a word too hard to read. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next class. Bye for now.